Oh, today was a day. Today was a day. Um, planned on making a good video. Planned on doing some podcasting. Um, by the way, on the podcast, because some of you have already sent me emails, um, the podcast will be moving to Wednesdays, upload time, 6 a.m., uh, just because of the hours on the store and um, the free time that I'm going to have and trying to schedule things. and It's going to be a little bit better for me uh, to not do it on Mondays at this point in time. So today um, kind of sucked for the most part. Uh, the plan was to move the water box, as you can see here in the back. We're not talking right now. Um, get that here, get it set up, get you know the few corals and the fish, one fish that I have in there, um, just to get this going. Because for the most part, uh, the water box has been completely neglected uh, for the last, I'd say, six months. And with me, you know, looking for the, a place and um, then building the place and then not having everything at my house to uh, take care of it properly. It was just something that needed to happen. It needed to come to the store so I could take care of the aquarium. And um, it's got two corals in it. A lot of the stuff's been parted out over the last year or so. Um, and one fish. And some hermit crabs. That's about it. Um, tons of equipment. Tons of equipment. But. You know, moving an aquarium isn't easy. It's not an easy thing to do. It's wet, it's gross, it's, um, it's a commitment. And I was, I was planning on yesterday closing up the shop on Sunday and then running home at 5 and letting the dogs out and then going to um, load everything up in the truck and get back here and set it up and then have a day to settle in and then look okay come Tuesday morning. And I got home and I ate. I let the dogs out. And I'm like, uh, there's no way. Glad I didn't do that because I. Because today sucked. Maybe yesterday would have been better. Who knows? But today sucked. So today I got up this morning. I went to Lowe's, uh, grabbed a couple totes, grabbed a couple buckets and some lids, and definitely didn't grab enough buckets. I think I'd have been better off if I had grabbed five buckets instead of two and the two totes was enough. Basically what I did is I used one tote for equipment and the other one for live rock. I took all the live rock out, took a towel, soaked it in the tank and then threw it into the tote. Loaded everything up and man, that water box right there, that's like a 40 gallon, maybe 50 gallon display. It is heavy, dude. It is heavy. I moved. And I'm not a like a Sally. I mean, the arms. We've talked about this. The arms are like the smallest that they've been in my adult life currently. I'm gonna fix that. Don't worry. Um, but I've always had the ability to kind of go to this place to get things done, move things that probably should not be moved by one person. I've always been able to have that ability to just kind of go there. I've moved the 220 gallon by myself recently. I did that like last summer. I don't know, maybe 40 is going to be pretty rough on me. I don't know. We got like, we got like 10 days. Good sign of things to come. But anyways, I get in the truck. It wasn't done well. And um, I had the dollies that I used for the 220 gallon out on the porch sill. Um, and I get to the door and the way that I'm holding the aquarium is I'm not going to be able to go through the door with it like on my hip. I got it under my arm. And I start making adjustments and then the tank's like slowly sinking and I'm like this isn't good. And then I get it down to the ground, I pick up the side, I put the rollers on it, I go to the other side, get rollers on it, I get it out onto the porch. I got the truck backed all the way up to the porch and then I'm able to muscle it in. Get the stand in there, get the sump in there, all the equipment. It's time to go. Time to go. Drive here, no problems. Walk in the door, there's water on the floor. I have, something's leaking. I'm like, awesome. So I got, 
a truck full of aquarium, and it's like 80 degrees outside, um, in the back of my truck, cooking, and I got, you know, fish in the truck, corals in the truck, whole deal. Walk in the store, water on the floor, I'm like, what in the world? So, actually, I'll show you guys. Ugh, it's hard to get up right now. 40, man. 40's not going to be good to me. Some of you are like, 40? What do you mean, 60? I'm like, hey, just because this is white, or turning white. Alright, so, low lighting. Stuff starting to shut down. But anyways, I had, it's right there, that PVC pipe in here. These socks are like super short. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. Uh, these socks are super short, and basically what I have to do is take the PVC that sticks in the bottom there, and then work it up and get the socks up over. But what had happened is it had pushed this part right here up a little bit. So every once in a while, water was spilling out across the top. Um, at first I thought the power had shut off and you know, the I've done the test and made sure that, you know, there wasn't any issues, but maybe, I don't know, and then I was walked over here and checked my fresh, fresh water, my salt water fish tanks. This is dry, because I know the, the way that those are right now, that that would leak, and I need to get that fixed. But figured that out, and the pipe was actually causing the leak, and um, we were able to mop it up. This is all wet because I did a water change in here. So that was pretty much a sign of things to come. I get the water box in here and again, you know, I'm, I got I'm gonna walk the length of the building up here with the tank. I do have that cart which made life a little bit easier but um, basically I acted like a second person because I didn't want to set the tank on completely because I still had the bulkheads um, in, on the bottom installed and was trying not to crush them and also crack the glass because they're there and it's pushing up, whatever. Get the tank in place. I figure that this is the best place for the tank. As I'm bringing in the stand, I noticed that I had ripped off a couple of the screw-in peg feet on the bottom. And I was like, well, that's great. And then I touch it and it's wiggling and I'm like, that ain't gonna work. So I take them all off and it's just basically sitting on the, the ground now. The stand probably could be replaced and you have the ability to go to Waterbox and buy a new stand, which I probably will do and probably go black because it makes more sense with the scheme of the store. Um, if I don't just yard the whole tank at this point. but So I'm setting stuff up, I put the water in, get it up, I get the, some of the live rock on there. Uh, I decided that uh, some of the rock that I had in there, a lot of the branch, um, I'm going to cook it for a little while and basically what cooking live rock is, is uh, taking it, putting it in a brook barrel, where is it? No, it's not there. Um, taking it, putting it in a brute barrel, no light, heater um, and just let it do its thing for a while. Um, there was some slime on the bottom part which I really just was not okay with. Um, tried to scrub it off it didn't even want to come off so um, and it was specifically on the Tonga branch uh, man-made stuff so I'm not sure if there's something going on there and what but didn't want to put it into the reef tank um, so I'll probably end up taking some of the rock from the store and building an aquascape at some point. But I did eventually uh, get the, the live rock in there to a, at least what I had on hand and filled the tank up with some of the scuzzy water um, that was in there and pulled some water from the store. So I did about 50-50. And I also took some sand out and cleaned all that and then put in some uh, new uh, rag alive sand. So I get that sorted out. And then it's time to plumb the thing and what I loved about the water box was how simplistic the plumbing was um, it didn't feel right when I was doing it the first time and is in that design it's a short tank and then it has it's almost like it has a, a coast to coast overflow in the back but some of the plumbing is hidden in the back and then it goes into um, you have 
a standpipe, which a standpipe for emergency, so if the water fills up to a certain point, then you have a um, graded, which is your main line, goes into your sump, and then you have your return line, which runs right beside it, and then goes into the top into two spouts. And hook everything up, turn it on, looks good, run in, I'm like, all right, time to get going on the fish and corals. Uh, we'll go back, grab the buckets, bring them up front, and then I'm look, I look at it and I see water running um, from two of the three pipes. Um, one of them that wasn't running, obviously, was the emergency pipe because there's no water in it. And then the main line and return pump were leaking. So I take them apart, look at them, they look fine, put them back together, really tighten it down this time, and turn it on, leaking again. So needless to say, and I'm, I'm going to make this as painless as possible for you guys because I'm sure you don't want to sit here and listen to somebody complain about something, but um, I went back and forth. I probably spent maybe four hours trying to figure this out. Couldn't do it. At the very end, when I finally had enough, I'm like, I'm going to rip it out. I'm going to plumb it myself. Well, the water box doesn't have standard or U.S standard uh, holes. So the three quarter inch, the one inch piping that I have, uh, as well as the bulkheads on hand, um, aren't going to work for it. It's probably metric, like most everything in the world other than the U.S. The last time that I removed all the piping, I'm like, I'm done with you. I'm going to throw it down. And I think I even threw a piece in the trash can. So I figured out that the bulkheads aren't going to work and I have to go digging through the trash to get my piping that I now have to clean and make sure that it's perfect and I went in and cleaned all the glass and then I installed it and this time, you know, because a lot of it's threaded, like I'm going to silicone it. I'm not going to do the same thing that I did with the water storage tanks where I just was like back and forth, back and forth, try, try and try, and which I, I kind of did. But I just like, all right, we're going to hook it up. We're going to give it a good tight cinch and we're going to put a bunch of silicone uh, on the connections. And if that don't work, then uh, if somebody wants a water box, uh, there'll be one here at the store uh, available for them. Um, so we're going to give that a go. We're going to let that silicone sit up for... Uh, I think it's like 24 hours, so I'm gonna have, I kind of wanted, hey, look, there's a display tank in the store, but now we're just gonna have this, hey, look, there's a tank on uh, life support in the back of the store, isn't that great? That looks good uh, tomorrow, but I'm tired. I need to get some food. I don't even, I, don't, I haven't eaten today. It's good. Um, I've been fueled by caffeine and hate, so. Um, Thank you guys for listening to me. If you're still listening, you're awesome. Um, appreciate it. And that's going to do it for me. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, I'm pumped. They're all out. They all look healthy. These guys uh, just had ick. They're all out doing their thing. I threw a little bit of food in there. It's starting to hide. But... Well, that makes me happy. Ugh.